It has to be a much uh, deeper connection than one can easily gain uh, through uh, social media. Because it is a matter of feeling. It is a connection that is almost tangible and deeply touching. And it has to be, therefore, direct. To give you an analogy for this, even though distant family members may communicate with one another daily by means of social media, they will still make the effort to visit one another in person because they want that immediacy, that intimacy, a proximity of connection. There's simply more feeling in, 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 in person. So in the same way, the relationship between the, a guru and a disciple is that personal and therefore uh, requires a personal interaction face to face um, because that will allow for the intense feelings which are part of the relationship uh, to develop. Okay. Your Holiness, uh, this question is about the arts. And the more I kind of learn about Tibetan culture, learning about, you know, people that don't study in a monastery, there's so much, there's singing, there's dancing, there's festivals, and the art being a vehicle for Dharma. And my question is, how, how can you see us creating that in the West, creating a society where Dharma isn't just talks, but the same kind of joyful expression as a vehicle. Um, sometimes I think in the West it can be, it can get very serious and, and almost tight. Nyanto Chambada Chamjare, Yes. Because yes. <laughs> Dharma practice, um, Dharma practice is not, in reality, the the narrow thing that we imagine it to be. We often imagine that Dharma practice consists of sitting quietly, alone, as still as possible, thinking about the same things over and over again until you fall asleep. <laughs> Dharma practice is much more than that. It is much more active. It involves the articulation, expression, and even embodiment of Dharma in body and speech, physical movement and expression. 
Even the way that you look at other beings is supposed to be with a loving glance or loving gaze. So therefore, as you mentioned in your question, it has become very much part of Tibetan culture, embodied by the dance in both ritual and secular forms and so forth. The point is that Dharma is not something to hide inward. It's something to extend yourself outward with in body, speech, and mind. To use Jitsun Milarepa as an example, even though he lived in isolated retreats, he still came down to interact with people by singing his songs and filling the areas where he was with the message that he communicated. So, yes, because Dharma must be active. Hi, Your Holiness. It's an honor to ask you a question. Um, how do you balance helping others with also taking care of your own needs? And what advice would you give to a Dharma practitioner who is studying to become a healer, a therapist? first steps warm yourself. Try to understand and I think the first step in helping others is to develop a warmth toward yourself. And if you have warmth toward yourself, then you actually just have to extend that same warmth uh, toward others as well. Otherwise, when we think of love and compassion as things we can only feel for others and not for ourselves, then they become very conditional. They become very dependent upon people's reaction. We feel that our love and compassion is valuable if others accept it and valueless if they don't. It is more a matter of becoming warm, becoming a warm person, and then allowing that warmth to radiate outward. For example, if you want to warm others' hands on a cold day, first your hands have to be warm. If your hands are cold, you won't be able to warm anyone else's hand by holding it. And this, of course, is all the more true uh, for healers. Um, I just wanted to uh, thank you your Holiness, for this lovely personal and profound talk and sharing of ideas and thoughts. And um, I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we hope that the continuation of your journey from here on out involves fewer lectures and more enjoyment, and that we will wait patiently for that little bit in the bottom of the teacup that you will come back and share with us. Thank you very much.